Respawn just revealed one of the craziest pieces of lore I have seen in years, and it basically reveals that one of the legends from Apex played a bigger role in Titanfall 2 than we thought. A way bigger role. And I've tried to record this video twice and I've got very confused because it's about time travel. So bear with me and let's start from the start before we get onto the biggest twist in Apex history, in my opinion. Where's the start? Well, it all starts in the Titanfall 2 mission Effect and Cause, where Cooper is sent to find another militia pilot called Anderson in an IMC facility. So Cooper and BT split up to search for Anderson and eventually Cooper finds him halfway stuck in the floor with a weird device on his hand. Hands. Very unusual. So Cooper takes his helmet and then the device on his hands and realizes that the device on his hand allows him to time travel between two different periods of time. The past and present. And this is definitely time travel and not some sort of weird dimension phasing because whenever you kill a grunt in the past and time travel to the future, the grunt's body is there and it looks really old. At the time of the mission, the gauntlet was thought to be made by the IMC, but it turns out that's not true. It's not true at all. But basically during the mission, Cooper blazes through the IMC facility using his time travel gauntlet and basically freaks everyone who sees him out until he finally gets to the end of the facility where the arc explodes. When the arc explodes, it has a weird effect on Cooper. Instead of killing him in the explosion like it should, it instead freezes all time around him and breaks his time gauntlet which is pretty unusual. But regardless, he carries on with the mission and scans the arc at the end of it. After he does this, the mission comes to an end and the time travel gauntlet seems to be completely broken. It no longer works and it's kind of just disregarded. We're not sure if it's thrown on the floor or put in Cooper's pocket. It's kind of unclear. And then past this point, we didn't hear anything else about the time travel gauntlet for literally coming on like six or seven years, I'm pretty sure, until a few months ago when it popped up in Apex Legends. Where did it pop up? Well, it popped up in Kilco Part 4, where a few eagle-eyed fans noticed that Duardo Silva was keeping the time travel gauntlet as basically a showpiece in one of his facilities, and a lot of people thought this was just a pretty cool reference, and it was, but then it got more important. After Duardo died, the ownership of the gauntlet was seemingly transferred to the museum on Ward's Edge in Apex Legends, and the next time we see it is at the end of the Breakout launch trailer, where Horizon is staring at the time gauntlet, and because of this, immediately everyone recognised the story that Respawn were trying to set up. Horizon obviously wants to time travel back in time to see her son, and the time travel gauntlet would allow her to do this. And also, fun fact on the side, it is already confirmed in Apex lore that Horizon time travels back to her son, we just don't know how yet. The next time we heard of the time travel gauntlet was when Season 20 released, in a description of a load screen on the Battle Pass. Basically, this description highlighted how Horizon was trying so hard to create some sort of time travel device, but was just failing because creating time travel is pretty hard, believe it or not, guys. And because of this, she was pretty much on the verge of giving up. But luckily, we weren't out of hope for too long because only two days ago, Respawn released a brand new comic and it revealed something giant. Basically, the comic starts with Horizon staring at the time travel gauntlet in the museum. And then it gets weird because Horizon drops a huge bombshell. What? The plaque says Duardo's relic was unearthed decades ago, on the other side of the bloody galaxy, no less. The thing is, Rowena, dear, I dreamt it up a week ago. This exact thing. Which can only mean... It works. Time travel, darling. Oh, bloody travel. Yeah, it turns out while Horizon was trying to blueprint and create a time travel device, she created the exact device that's currently in the museum without knowing of its existence. Meaning, Horizon is the one who made the time travel gauntlet and somehow, through some weird time travel antics, after she made it, which is an event that hasn't even taken place yet, it time traveled back into the past, somehow got into the hands of IMC scientists, and then into the hands of Jack Cooper, and then into the hands of Duardo Silva, and then into the the hands of the Apex Museum, and then back into the hands of its original creator, Horizon. What an insane twist that she made the time travel gauntlet. And this twist proves one thing to Horizon. It works. What works? Time travel, darling. Oh, bloody time travel. 
The thing is, despite Horizon basically legally being the creator of this, it's not in her possession and she doesn't really want to steal it. So there has to be a way for her to get it. And that's when Conduit points something very, very convenient out. And I'm not sure if this is just lazy writing or Respawn have a time travel related plan to explain this. But the syndicate who control the Apex games are holding a competition where the winner gets a trophy and also an item from Dewado's collection. Come on, bro, really? I really hope Respawn do have an interesting way to explain this because no way they're gonna write Horizon getting the time travel gauntlet is. Oh yeah, the Syndicate were just conveniently holding a competition where the winner gets to pick from this dead guy's stuff. Interestingly enough, I think this competition is gonna be much more interactable than anybody actually expects because when the collection event first launched, I got this in my news tab. Choose your side. It's Team Octane versus Team Horizon. These legends are currently competing for a fantastic prize and how the story unfolds depends all on you. Players Horizon or Octane to rack up wins and kills and see which team flies the highest. So I'm pretty sure Respawn are gonna add a stat-based competition for these two legends. So they'll probably do something like whichever legend has the most kills by the end of this two week period wins, which will be really cool. GTA Online actually does some in-game competitions like these and they look really fun to participate in. So this is definitely gonna be a really cool thing to come to Apex. If that's how it works, but I assume that's how it is going to work. Let's be real for a moment. The thing is, though, if we're real for a moment, we all want Horizon to win this because if she gets the time travel gauntlet from Titanfall 2 and we get more lore, it would be really cool. But Octane has been the most picked legend for a very long time now, so he's probably going to win. So I'm going to start the propaganda right now. You all need to play Horizon when this drops. Seriously, you all need to play Horizon. Even if you don't like the lore, we've got to see it. But honestly, if I'm real for a moment, if Octane did win this, there'll probably be a bit of lore where he just gives the gauntlet to Horizon anyway because she like goes and cries or something. I don't really know. This little competition or event, whatever you want to call it, is definitely going to take place in this season. And most likely we'll see the conclusion of this story pan out all the way into season 21. Interestingly enough, when Game Informer was allowed into respawn offices and they were allowed to test season 21, we saw a bit of the gameplay of the potential map or map changes. And there were many theories flying about at the time that this little area here is going to be something to do with Horizon and maybe it's her lab where she is doing something related to this glove. And now it seems a lot more possible that when she wins the glove, she takes it to a lab, fixes it up, and then time travels back for a very short time to see her son. So this could well be her lab and the ball on top is some sort of energy that allows the glove to work. In the Titanfall 2 mission it was predicted that the arc, this big ball of energy, was the thing allowing the glove to work. So maybe Horizon somehow has to recreate the energy that the arc produces to allow the time travel gauntlet to let her time travel. But that bit's just a theory right now. I'm just trying to put together what we can see. For the community challenge of Horizon versus Octane though, I really hope we do get a cool prize at the end because after looking at the GTA 5 version of this, where people just had to drink a load of cans in game. When they managed to complete this, they got some themed clothing and liveries for some vehicles. So I'm excited to see how this pans out. And if there's some sort of tracker in game where the kill target of like 5 million kills or something is tracked live, that'll be really awesome to see. But if you're a Titanfall fan, tell me what you think of this twist and tell me what you think of this twist if you're an Apex fan. And subscribe if you want to keep updated on this.